here's Mr. Potassium Chloride again. And uh, I mentioned before that the Inspect USB would get well over 100 counts per minute with uh, the potassium chloride because of the much more sensitive pancake detector in it. I'll actually show you that detector in a minute. There's no sources around. This is just the potassium chloride. Uh, you'll remember the SOEX unit uh, got into the 20s. Uh, I haven't put the uh, Gamma Scout on it or any of my more expensive uh, meters like the Ludlums. But uh, as you can see, this is uh, over 400 counts per minute. I said it would uh, get to 100 and uh, it goes well past 100. Uh, this is still safe. Counts per minute is not the same on every meter. It, it always depends upon the sensor it's using. Uh, but the gamma scintillation probe, I could be getting two, three thousand counts per minute. And it doesn't mean it's any more radioactive. It just means it's a better sensor. Uh, but you can see here, uh, you know, it's up you know, 420, 450. But uh, you know it's up pretty high. Uh, it's still the exact same level of radioactivity that you saw with the Soex Prime. Uh, the sensor is just much better at uh, detecting count rates. And to flip it over, you can see how big that pancake sensor is compared to that tiny little tube here in the Soex Prime. So that's why it's getting many more counts. It also has, uh, this case has a protective shield to protect that window because uh, while not the most expensive I have, this is an expensive unit. It's good, it does logging, uh, all kinds of things. Here, the total timer count, you can actually do statistical counts like over 10 minutes and, you know, determine low-level radioactive sources, stuff like that. Uh, because once you know your background baseline, with this meter, my background baseline is around 30 counts per minute. Uh, once you know that, uh, you start the timer, it gives you the total counts over the time period, you divide it by how many minutes you had, and you'll get an average of how many counts per minute, or counts per second if you're using SI units. Uh, I prefer SI units, although a lot of the people I interface with uh, still use counts per minute. So I tend to use counts per minute uh, unless I'm dealing with somebody outside the United States and then I do counts per second. But in any case, uh, you can see, you know, it's going pretty high. Uh, with the cesium sample I pulled out, uh, this will go over 36,000 counts. Um, it goes crazy. Uh, so much that this light's solid and you just hear a constant buzz. Uh, I'll do a video showing that later, but for now, uh, this is just a demonstration of the Inspector USB on the uh, potassium chloride.